To freeze the top row, press Alt W F R. To add borders, press Ctrl A, then press Alt H B A. To move columns, first select the column. Drag the selection over top of another column. As you drag, hold the Shift key until you see a single vertical green line between two columns. Let go to insert the column. Like and follow for daily tips. Don't waste time deleting blanks like this. Instead, press Ctrl A. Then, Ctrl H. In the Find What box, type tilde followed by a space. Leave the Replace with box empty. Hit Replace All. Like and follow for daily tips. Don't insert blank rows one by one. Instead, create a helper column of sequential numbers. Copy the numbers. Paste below the last number. Press Ctrl Shift L to add filters. Sort smallest to largest. Delete the helper column. Like and follow for daily tips. Progress checkboxes in 30 seconds. Let's go. Select a column. Press Alt N C3 to insert checkboxes. In a separate column, type in this formula. Copy the formula down for all of the checkboxes. Like and follow for daily tips. Stop searching through thousands of rows for answers. It's super inefficient and will not impress your boss. Instead, type in XLOOKUP. Choose the name you want to look up. Select the column that contains the name you're looking up. Select the column that contains the result you're seeking. Any time you change the lookup value, the result will auto-update. Like and follow for daily tips. Stop marking below average grades by hand. Instead, press Ctrl, Shift, Down to select the column. Press Alt, H, L, N to start a new conditional format. Change the format to the following rules. Like and follow for daily tips. Stop separating data this way. Instead, type in filter. Select the column of workers. Press F4 to lock the range. Highlight the department column. Press F4 to lock the range. Then type equals and click the header above. Drag the formula to the right to fill the rest of the columns. Like and follow for daily tips. This is your sign to stop extracting names manually. Below the first entry, press Ctrl and E to flash fill the rest of the first names. You can also press Ctrl and E to flash fill the last names. Like and follow for daily tips. Stop plotting your data in a clunky chart. Instead, select your data. Click the box that appears in the lower right corner. Click Data Bars. Like and follow for daily tips. Copilot in Excel is here. Start by selecting a table of data. Go to the Home tab. 
Click Copilot. Type in formula requests, like combining first and last names. Hover over Insert Column to preview the data. Click to insert the column. Ask to highlight important data, like the largest sales. Like and follow for daily tips. Don't sum numbers with units. It won't work. Instead, type the first number in the column to the right. Press Ctrl E to flash fill. Select the column. Press Ctrl 1 to open the Format Cells dialog. Go to Custom. Type double quotes LBS double quotes. Drag the new column over the old column. Press Alt equals to auto sum. Like and follow for daily tips. Stop extracting data with copy and paste. Instead, select the column of data. Press Alt A E to open the text two columns dialog. Choose the delimited option. Uncheck tab and instead check space. Select a destination for the new columns. Like and follow for daily tips. How to keep row numbers when deleting rows. Instead, use this function. Type any number. Now, row numbers remain even if you delete rows. Like and follow for daily tips. You don't need a pivot table to get distinct counts. Instead, type in equals unique. Select the list by clicking the first cell, then pressing Ctrl Shift Down. To count the distinct values, type in equals count if. Just like before, select the list. Select the first value in the unique list. Add a hash to the end of the cell reference to dynamically select all cells in the list. Below the counts, press ALF equals to auto sum. Like and follow for daily tips. How to make a target chart in 60 seconds. Select the data table. Press ALT and F1 to create a chart. Delete the chart title and grid lines. Right click the chart and select Change Chart Type. Choose Combo. Set the actual series to clustered column and the target series to line. Right click the line and select Format Data Series. Click the Paint Bucket. Choose the No Line option. Go to the Marker tab. Expand Marker Options. Choose the built in option. Change the type to a horizontal line. Set the line size to a number close to 30. Like and follow for daily tips. Don't make running totals like this. Instead, select the data. Go to the Insert tab. Click Pivot Table. Choose a location for the pivot table. Drag date to the rows area. Drag sales to the values area twice. 
right click the second sum of sales column. Go to show values as and select running total in. Like and follow for daily tips. Excel shortcuts you must know. Control A to select all. Control B to bold. Control C to copy. Control D to fill down. Control E to flash fill. Control F to find. Control G to go to. Control H to find and replace. Control I to italicize. Control K to insert hyperlink. Control L to create table. Control N to create a new workbook. Control O to open. Control P to print. Control Q for quick analysis. Control R to fill, right? Control S to save. Control T to create table. Control U to underline. Control V to paste. Control W to close window. Control X to cut. Control Y to repeat action. Control Z to undo action. Like and follow for daily tips. Stop counting colors like this. Instead, use this formula. Like and follow for daily tips. Don't type out your functions like this. It's difficult to read. Instead, press Control A. Then press Control Shift F3. Make sure only top row is selected. Now type in the name of headers to reference in a formula. This formula is much easier to understand. Like and follow for daily tips. Don't move data from one sheet to another like this. Instead, use the camera tool. Go to more commands. Choose all commands. Scroll down until you find camera. Select part of your data to take a snapshot. Click the camera icon. Paste the screenshot in another tab. Make it bigger or smaller. Updates in the original array show in the snapshot, too. Like and follow for daily tips. Don't try to remove scientific notation like this. It doesn't work. Instead, use the trim function. Works like a charm. Like and follow for daily tips.